Hey guys, it's Dorbe Ellie here and thank you so much for joining me in another video. Today I want to give you three tips that help you to downsize in any kind of areas of your life because personally for me after adopting a more minimalist lifestyle I can definitely see the benefits. I have a lot more mental space, a lot more mental clarity, I feel a lot more grounded and just in the moment because I don't have to stress and think about too many things that occupy my mind and that's definitely because I downsized in a lot of areas of my life and have less things to worry about, to focus on and yeah. It just overall been a really positive experience and I hope I have some helpful tips that help you to get a lot more mental space and maybe actual space as well. My first two tips I actually got from a book I was reading and it's called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up from Marie Kondo and I can highly recommend reading this book guys so I'm gonna link it down in the description below so you can check it out after this video and she basically just talks about as I said downsizing and tidying it up and organizing your life and there were a lot of helpful tips but for this video I just want to give you two of these that just stuck with me and yeah I just want to talk with you briefly about them so maybe they're helpful for you as well. So for my first tip you have to think about in what kind of area or what kind of space in your home you want to start downsizing. So you go through different categories that can be office things or bathroom things, kitchen things, clothing or any kind of sentimental or memories and then you pick one of the categories so let's say we pick closing so within clothing you obviously have more categories so let's say you have pants and jackets or tops or anything like that and you pick one category you want to start with so let's say we start with tops so first of all you have to get out all the tops you have in your home and honestly the reason why you put everything into a category is because people store things at different places in their house so for example you have pens in your kitchen area then you have pens in your office area and then you have jackets for example on your hall and then also in your wardrobe but I want you to get every item from one category you pick so with tops you get all the tops you have and you collect them on the floor and if you feel overwhelmed at the beginning and you don't know where to start I have a list it's actually a PDF and I'm gonna link that down below it's from the book as well it's from the KonMari method and it just shows you all the different categories and maybe that helps you where to start and it's also a checklist so you can print it out and check it if you're finished with one category and can you can move on to the next one but for now we have all the tops and we have collected them on the floor and now we pick up each individual item one thing at a time so let's say we start with this top so I pick it up just ask yourself after thinking about it I can say that this item for example brings joy for me I really love this top and I definitely want to keep it so I put it on the pile of the clothes I want to keep and then you go through each item as I said ask yourself does it bring me joy does it spark joy for you at the end of the time you have one pile with the things you want to keep and one pile of the things you want to get rid of. Now with the items you want to get rid of you can either donate or give to family or friends or if they're just really used up, they're really old, they're broken, anything like that I think you can throw away. Now you can remove that out of your life and you have more space to think about the items you really value and you want to keep. Now after sorting all your things, in my terms it, these are my tops, after I've done all of that my second tip is to fold them and to organize them. Now everyone obviously has their own technique to fold their clothes. I like to roll them or just fold them really small so they don't take up a lot of space and then I put them in one area so for example with my tops I put them in my wardrobe and that is the specific place for this kind of category I don't have tops in any kind of other area 
in my living space. I just have them in my wardrobe and that way I can just keep things organized and I know where they're at. She kind of refers to it that every item has its own home, its own place, which is kind of cute. So I thought I'm gonna mention that. So every item you have and that can also be just with books for example or, or your office things, your pens, kitchen items like bowls and silverware. Everything has its own place so you can keep track of it. You know where it's at and everything is nicely organized because that for me, for example, just gives me a really nice feeling. I'm really calm and relaxed when I know everything is organized and I have a lot more mental space and mental clarity. And yeah, that is definitely something that helped me. So that's it with my two tips from the KonMari method. And as I said, if you wanna check out her book, I'm gonna link that down below. And my third tip is actually just if you wanna get a new item. So I don't want to demonize getting new things because that can be a way for you to treat yourself to new things. Some people love shopping and they love getting new things and I don't want to hold you back on that. And a minimalist lifestyle is definitely not to just keep one or two things. Like everyone is different in that kind of area and everyone has a different amount of things they want to keep and they want to value. It's just important what things are just cluttering up your life and what things are important for you. But if it's the case that you want to get something new, I would suggest that you go through the same category you get the item from. So let's say you get a new top because I just picked tops in this video for now. Then you just donate or gift or get rid of one or two items out of that category so you get rid of another top because you get a new one and it's kind of taken its place I guess and that way you don't get like overwhelmed with getting too many things and it's just all cluttering up again. And that way to, you keep things organized, you keep things to an amount that is comfortable for you. So I hope these tips were helpful for you. I hope you get something from that. I hope they help you to downsize and declutter your life a bit more because as I said, for me, living a more minimalist lifestyle was just so beneficial and I would love to hear your experiences from it, guys. Just leave me a comment down below. I love to hear your feedback. And in terms of this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'd say I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.